Hey, what's up? My name is Carvin Hagens. I'm a producer, songwriter, Gram Grammy Award producer, songwriter. Um, and I'm just coming to you right now because I have a, a slight issue. I've been listening to the radio and, and I'm, I'm beginning to have a major issue with what's being played on radio. So as I'm listening to the radio, the songs that I'm hearing are disrespectful. They're degrading. They're, they're just tearing our children down. It's, it's over sex. It's over. It's just super lawless. And a, as a concerned parent, as a concerned creator, as a, as a concerned person, just listening to the music, I feel like it, something has to be done to stop radio from what they're doing right now. As I'm listening to the music, I can hear sex, murder, drugs, kill, drinking, sex, murder, drugs, kill, drinking. And, and I don't think that's a great song lyric. Now, you know, I, I can't say that I'm the greatest songwriter in the world, but what I do know is what songs are supposed to be consisting of, things that can move you, things that can heal you, things that can build you. And um, as I listen to the music, it make me flash back to when I was growing up and my mom had her music playing. We were listening to the Teddy Pendergrass or Aretha Franklin or Marvin Gaye, What's Going On? Or we, it would be songs, I heard songs from James Brown, like Black and I'm Proud, and songs like Wake Up Everybody. And, and what's concerning me is that there is no music being created like that today. Even in the time when I decided to make music and, and, and it became the, my love of my life and my passion, what I wanted to do is I wanted to compliment my predecessors. So I went into create great music and write great song lyrics that I know that will mark people's life and history. Now when I listen to the music, instead of building us up, it's tearing us down. And when I say us, I'm talking about the black community. And, and, and I feel like we overlook it and you know as parents we turn it off and say that's that young people stuff but the truth of the matter is no that's that old people stuff because most of the artists that's making it are 35 and up, 30 and up. And they're, they're making this nonsense for our children. So, you know, I'm just coming as a concerned citizen saying we got to do something about the music. We got to do something about how the music is getting to the people. And don't get me wrong. This is not a slight to none of the people that create the music. You listen, we all have an artist freedom, artistic freedom, and some things we, we want to do. I, I get it. But it ain't for radio. Like the conversations that I'm hearing in the music, that ain't music that you, that don't, those aren't words that should be coming over the free radio. We don't hear those words over free television. You gotta buy pay-per-view or HBO or something in order to hear the content, the lyric and everything. If you want it on TV, you gotta pay for that. But on radio, it's just, it's being played freely. So I, I just got a slight issue with it. I know it seems a little intense, but w when I look at it, you know, I'm looking at our rap, the rappers that's out right now. The, I'm, I'm gonna read you some lyrics that I found, but we, it's rappers saying, I'm gonna get, I got, I dropped a Molly and a girl drink. She ain't even know, took her home and had my way with her. She ain't even know, like, yo, that's date rape. Like, there's a rapper promoting date rape and there's a child right now with that in his headphones saying that that's the cool thing to do because a rapper said it. And again, I'm not crapping on your artistic freedom. I'm saying if you're artistic, then be artistic. Write something that everybody ain't doing, like build a community up. You're getting rich off the community. Put some money back into it. Change the lyrics. Matter of fact, put better words in it. What I found is that um, music is the number one teaching tool. When I think of the ABCs, I can only think of the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That, and, and years ago, there was this TV show called uh, Schoolhouse Rock. And I learned the preamble on Schoolhouse Rock. I learned about conjunction, junction, what's your function? I still remember that from eight years old. So what I'm saying is that music is the number one teacher. And the more we recite it, the more we understand it and it becomes a part of us, and the more we begin to live out what we're hearing. Now look, I went to Billboard, Urban Charts, the top 10 songs on the Urban Charts. One song was done by Chris Brown. The song is called Loyal. The hook of the song says, when a rich N-word wants you and your N-word can't do nothing for you, these hoes ain't loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Then the verse say, 
just got rich, took a broke N word B, and I can't make a broke B rich, but I don't F with broke B's. Like, what type of lyric is that? Like, what, what, are, you, what are you saying to our kids? Like, like some kid is gonna recite that. And to tell you the truth, my mom ain't a B, my daughter ain't a B, my grandma ain't a B, my cousin ain't a B. As a matter of fact, the female friends that I have, they all aren't Bs. So, like, why is it so free to say that word and disrespect the women? And the sad part is women are singing along with these records. Like, that's the thing to do. And, and you know, just, I'm just a concerned adult, concerned creator. And I'm just, I, right now, I'm, I'm urging us as creators to just give the kids something else to listen to, something else to look forward to. I found the Beyonce song, the Beyonce song called Part partition right in the song partition it says driver roll up the partition please you don't want to see Beyonce you don't want to see Beyonce on her knees I t it took me 45 minutes to get all dressed up and we ain't even gonna make it to this club now my mascara my mascara running red lipstick smudge oh he's so horny yeah he want to F he popped, all in, he popped all my buttons and ripped my blouse. He, mon he Monica Lewinsky all on my gown. What? Like, is that, like, I don't want to see somebody's daughter in the car singing that song. Like, why is that cool that Beyonce is telling these girls about how she's having oral sex? And that's not cool. Like, there's nothing about that's cool. And it ain't cute. It ain't sexy. It ain't fly. Like, it's just a lack of creativity, and I feel like right now we're being treated like sex slave beasts. We're lawless. We just want to kill somebody. So I found another record by Rico Love, and the, love, the song is called Bees Be Like. So the hook say, bees be like hair done, nails done, but ain't got, no, ain't, but ain't got nowhere to stay. Really, that's great English. Bees be like, tonight I'm gonna kill them. Taking pictures with no, feel, with no feel top. Bees be like, oh, it's a lot of rich N-words in the club, but, but I'ma make one of these N-words fall in love. Bees be like, these bees be like, these bees be like, bees be like. Really? Like, I, I'm like, what are you writing? Like. I'd be like, what the hell is that? Like, really, like, come on, man. Like, that's not creativity. And Rico, if you want to get at me, get at me. If anybody's mad, like, I don't really care. I'm just saying, be more talented. Like, Rico, you are a talented writer. Beyonce, you are extremely talented. You know what I'm saying? Chris Brown, dude, you're one of the talented kids I know. I met you when you were a kid. Like, we got to be more responsible. Like, there's, there's kids that's 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8 singing your song right now. Like, that's not cool. So all I'm saying is, I got an issue with the music, but it's, it's bigger than that. I got an issue with radio, because the truth is, y'all just being creative. Radio need to be responsible. Because, you know, I look at it from the philosophy of, the same way there's a drug deal on a corner, if you want to stop the drugs from getting to the corner, lock down the corner lock up every drug dealer they won't distribute the drug no more so whoever got the drug is gonna have to sit on it or find somewhere else to distribute it so what i'm saying is right now radio you are the known drug dealers in our community like you're deal you're dealing poison to our kids and you guys are playing it with no respective person this music is coming on seven o'clock in the morning while a parent is trying to take their kid to school or the school bus driver got the radio on while the kids are on their way to school and everything you're playing is going into the ears on the way to school not to mention your radio host who's having the most x-rated conversation in the morning now the flip side of it is at three o'clock when they get out of school this is heavy rotation y'all flipping these records back to back to back to back to back and, and I'm a firm believer in the more you say it the more you speak it the more you become it if you call yourself a pimp a loser a hoe a killer a b a n-word 
you're going to eventually become it. And I, I'm telling you, look at our community right now. And, and black pride has totally died. And everybody want to be riding around and getting it drunk and getting it like that's not cool at all. I'm just saying that's my personal opinion. But my is, my issue is with radio. When I listen to radio, I tuned on the radio on the pop radio station. There's a song by Chris Brown. It says uh, there's a song on urban hip hop and on pop radio. It's Chris Brown's record. It says, pull your panties to the side. I want to make you feel all right. That's what it says on urban radio. On pop radio, it actually takes the word panties out, like censoring panties. And what, what upsets me the most is that y'all have enough sense to take the content out on pop radio, but don't care about urban radio to exploit that, to, to send that to our kids, that those exploiting lyrics. So I'm just saying, I have an issue with radio. So what I'm doing on June 7th at 11 a.m., I'm going to Power 99 in Philadelphia, and I'm gonna take a picket sign, I'm gonna give me a bullhorn, and I'm protesting. We need better music. We need a better programmer. We need music that's gonna be informative. Radio was inform informative. Radio was what we needed in our hood when something was wrong radio will report the issue so we can get it fixed now radio you become the issue like you're pumping that poison into the ears of our kids when they're sitting with their headphones on so all i'm saying is on june 7th i'm coming out i'm protesting at power 99 demanding that they change the music that they play i'm sure there's positive music out there i'm sure there's good music don't get me wrong I know we're not going to have a whole bunch of happies playing on Power 99, but I understand when we grew up, we had Public Enemy and NWA. We had Easy e and KRS-One. We had uh, the Ghetto Boys and we had Tribe Called Quest. So what I'm saying is there was a balance. Now there's no balance. The R&B has become provocative, over sex, over nasty, whatever you want to call it. And hip hop has gone straight to the gutter. So all I'm saying, June 7th, I'm raging against the ratchet. I'll be at Power 99 FM protesting that the music must change. So what I'm saying, every church leader, every Muslim leader, every Jewish leader, every concerned father, every concerned mother, every concerned parent, every concerned grandparent, matter of fact, every concerned child that want this music to change, come out, join me June 7th. I will be in the parking lot of Power 99 picketing. Come out, be a part. We're raging against the ratchet and we need the community to come out and stand up, period. Come out June 7th. I'll be looking for you. Peace.